Volley in motion on third down. The Bulldogs looking to move it after they forced a punt. Pass is complete to Malik Keith, who gets rolled out of bounds around the 25-yard line by the safety Josh Green. A pickup of 30 yards. After they completed the comeback, that's when they began to run a little more clock and run the football. Four-man rush, pocket holes, pass to the end zone is caught. Touchdown, Austin Williams. Mississippi State strikes first on a 21-yard floater to the end zone. Here at home, Austin Williams on the corner routes, his second touchdown of the season. As they look for their first first down of the game, trailing 7-0 against Mississippi State. Garnett lets the screen get set up. This goes to Starling, who again finds a defender waiting and ready to drive him into the Bermuda grass. This time it was Tyrus Wheat, the linebacker. They put up 30 points on a couple of occasions this year, but the level of competition today, the best Ooh. they've seen all year. And how about that? By the shoulder pads, Nathan Pickering gets the sack, a loss of a dozen. Sacks in back-to-back -back games. For the Mississippi native, Caleb Mosley for his second punt. Wally drifts to the 39-yard line where he's got some room to run. A reversal, of course. He gets a block with some help. Now the 40, and he stumbles forward to about the 31-yard line where Mosley, the punter, makes the stop on a 29-yard dazzling return. Second most on the yeah. team. And with confidence, they give it right back to him, to the right side. Touchdown, Marks. Well, and then you go and redeem yourself. You know what? Momentum's a heck of a thing. We just started playing better yeah. in the second half. Yeah, and their offense scored 40 points. Garnett gets tripped up. He goes down. Wheats on the scene. Third punt of the first quarter, forthcoming. Two back look here for the Bulldogs. He's J.J. Jernigan onto the field for the first time. The crossing route finds Wally. A Bulldogs first down, a gain of 11 for number 11. It's just a three-man rush. Eight defenders lie in wait, and yet somehow Wally still finds himself open to set up a Bulldogs first and goal. We drafted Eddie George back in 96. Along the goal line, the catch is made a spinning score for Mississippi State as Austin Williams snags his second of the afternoon. You pair him with a great offensive mind, and this is the type of offense you get. In fact, on game day, Lane Kiffin was so bold as to say he was going to pick Mississippi State to get an upset over Auburn last week and gave a huge compliment to Mike Leach. His first coaching job, head coach or assistant, at any level. You know, Mike, when we talked with Eddie, it was one of the, the more fascinating conversations. What a punt that is. Well, he's back inside the 20. Can they corral him, though? He's already gone for 20 yards, almost 25 on the return by the sophomore. Jumps a little early. Bulldogs set up the screen, ball comes loose on the tackle, and it appears that the Tigers recover. Rogers and the ball belongs to Tennessee State. But if, if you do something well over and over again, you've had plays like this happen. Malik Heath, he lit a match, he leaves Scorcher behind him. Touchdown, 56 yards. Talk about the yards after the catch. Tackles must be made on the outside, and they get great blocks. That's Austin Williams, 85, who gets the block on the edge. And then you just... Well, we already know what kind of Halloween kid. Not candy corn. <laughs> <laughs> Big running room for Dylan Johnson. To the 30. A lot of a two-back look on this drive. Could it be number three of the day? Indeed it is, Austin Williams from 30 yards out. What a first half for the redshirt senior.
between two defenders. He breaks the tackle of, of Raymond. It's Bulldogs football to start the third. Return for Marks begins from inside the five yard line. And stops across the 30. The wide receivers do a great job, job of breaking tackles and getting that yak. It's a long out route. Finds Makai Pole. 13 yard pickup. 82% is just <laughs> otherworldly good. Stupid good. And he's got Williams wide open across the middle. First down into Tennessee State Territory. This has been a, a seven on seven kind of day. Pretty much for Rodgers. Look at the offensive line, Mike. Anything he wants, wherever he wants it, including right down the middle for another touchdown. Makai Pole for six. Played at uh, small school prior to, to coming to Tennessee State. At Southeastern University, an NAIA school in Florida, saw time in their blowout win against Vanderbilt. And with the score as lopsided as it is, hands it off for Dylan Johnson. One snap, one touchdown. It's 48-0 after a 32-yard touchdown run. This hole. And then the cutback by Dylan Johnson. Untouched to the end zone. Give some love to Quatravius well, Johnson. The Quentin Sharp, Scott at Lashley and company. Mississippi State with the lead and a third down at six. For the Tigers offense, they convert. Cam Weiss with a catch. He's got a race to the corner, inside the 10, and out of bounds. First and goal, Tennessee State, a huge pickup. Puts them over 100 yards on the day. Looking to get a push, and the ball comes loose. Just when things were looking up, it turns the Bulldogs way. Jet Johnson scoops up the ball. Season averages in every way they'd like to see. And it's what you'd expect from an SEC opponent. Ball came out. The ball is loose again for the second time in a handful of snaps. And Tennessee State has it back. They work on third down in need of a yard. They go backwards. James Lowry is one for one this year on field goal tries from just 26 yards. He's coming on here to try it from 43. Got it. So he's got a strong leg, and he's got the first points of the day for Tennessee State. Friendship is with the people in the equipment room, how willing they are to give you more stuff. Long completion as Lovertich lets it fly, a gain of 23 yards. That's the guy who's going to kick. Yeah. So the court, who's 5 of 10 this year, is now 6 of 11. Bryant evades the rush and throws just short of midfield. You'll, you'll like where I, where I slotted everybody. How about Dan Horde? That's right, one of the greats. The voice of the Cincinnati Bearcats on the radio. Another and, big chunk. And the Bengals. That's right. Bryant hands it off, and that's a touchdown for Tennessee State. See one of their teammates injured, Jimmy Nixon, mm. is the injured offensive line. They recharging for the for the remainder of the day. No, but I do. I think envy is the prevailing theme there. Well, there may be some more points on the board with that pass. To start off this drive, for Wells, who goes for 40. Make this a longer attempt. That's 43. One make already today. And now make it two. The fact that Mississippi State got out of the game relatively healthy, that's important going into the Egg Bowl. And they've got a, this was a noon kickoff, Eastern 11 local. So now they've got about a seven and a half hour jump on prepping for that Egg Bowl.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.